Cruising these days might seem more complicated than ever, but there are some things that smart cruisers always do. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now there are some things that smart cruisers always do that really make their cruise better. Now some of these things are actually really big important things and others are pretty small things that you know oftentimes they do say that the details are really what make the experience so in this video i'm going to share with you the 10 top things that smart cruisers always do some mistakes that they kind of don't usually make at least now before i get started i did want to mention two things firstly please let me know what you think smart cruisers always do and let me know if you do any of these things and secondly if you like this video if you find it helpful informative or enjoyable in any way then please do give the video a big thumbs up i really do appreciate it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already let's get started number one they keep their passports and their government id up to date and in particular they keep a close eye on their passport expiry date now i say this simply because many places when you do travel to them whether it's on a cruise or not they do require you to have six months left from the last day that you do return home from your travels and this can catch a lot of people that are traveling and cruising and of course if you've made this mistake before don't fret i've actually made it myself and things did work out okay for the destinations we were going on our cruise but this definitely is something to watch and especially now because many of us haven't really traveled as often as we had before and really sometimes it feels like we lost two years or more so definitely keep an eye on your passport expiry date if you haven't looked at that recently number two and this is a fun one the smart cruisers know they can order just about anything they want in the main dining room so in the main dining room yes you can order two main dishes you can order two or three appetizers you can share with a friend um, you could even order dessert before your meal if you like sometimes we actually order a cheese plate as an appetizer that's usually on the dessert menu and even sometimes if you've really liked something that you've eaten in the main dining room if you do speak with the waiter sometimes the chef can make that for you another night of your cruise number three smart cruisers use their cruise planner and they book as much as possible in advance before they get on the cruise so not only are shore excursions sometimes cheaper by booking them before you get on the cruise but you're going to save yourself the hassle of waiting in line once you're on the cruise ship or trying to find out what is still available and what is not available so that's a big reason that smart cruisers book their excursions before they get on the cruise. And of course, other things like booking their dining packages, their beverage packages, even certain appointments. Smart cruisers know that the more that is booked up before you get on the cruise, the better and easier time you have when you are cruising. Number four, smart cruisers know their cruise lingo. So yes, they will not be making the mistake of calling the ship a boat. Smart cruisers know that the person who cleans your cabin is a cabin steward or a cabin attendant, that the Lido deck is the pool deck or that aft is the back of the ship and that forward is the front of the ship. And of course, we also have starboard and port side. Now, just a little tip if you're wondering, how do you remember that port side is port side and that starboard side is starboard side? So port side is on your left and that has four letters. Starboard side is on your right and that has an R in it. Number five, smart cruisers know what they like and don't like when it comes to cruise cabins. So of course, some people really like inside cabins. Other people like suites or balcony cabins. There really is something for everybody. Some people don't mind having a guarantee cabin because the benefit is going to be that this is going to be less expensive and it's a bit of a gamble. You might get a great cabin. And other people are very particular about their cabin location. They know they're very sensitive perhaps to noise and they really have to know that they are going to get maybe a midship cabin or a cabin that is not under the Lido deck. So it really is so important to know your tolerance when it comes to cruise cabins. Number six, smart cruisers try to keep organized on their cruise. So this can mean unpacking right away on the first day of the cruise. This might mean using packing cubes or organizing their cabin using some magnets on the walls to hang up things or maybe using an over the door organizer to keep organized. Smart cruisers are keeping up with all of the protocols and all of the changes as hard as that is sometimes. And smart cruisers really have 
what they need, all of their necessities, and they try not to overpack. Now, if you do overpack, really, that is not the worst vice in the world. I myself do overpack, perhaps that's why I'm saying it. But as long as you are organized with basically what you need, I think you are doing pretty well. Now, if you are working on your organizational skills for your cruise and you are interested in packing lists, I do have the Ultimate Cruise Planner. The Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner that really just has all of the forms and packing lists that you will need to plan your cruise from the time that you book your cruise all the way through disembarkation. Now, if you are interested in the Ultimate Cruise Planner, what I will do is leave the information for you down in the description below this video. Number seven, this just has to be said, smart cruisers don't fly in on the same day as their cruise. Now, I know sometimes it just has to happen. You don't have a choice, but overall, it is always better to arrive at your cruise port the day before. Not only will you not be late for your cruise ship because, well, you'll be there on time, obviously, but you also start off your cruise well rested and that is the best way to start off your cruise. And there's a part two to this one. Smart cruisers also don't book a flight too early in the day on disembarkation day. They know that things do happen and it is better to have a flight that is in the early afternoon than trying to rush off the cruise ship and perhaps not making it. Number eight, smart cruisers study the deck plan of their cruise ship sometimes in advance or otherwise do explore the ship on the first day of the cruise. And this is especially true if this is a new cruise ship that you might be going on. Now, something else that people do that I think is really, really smart is before going on the cruise ship, they really do some research to find out what are some of the best restaurants to go to, what are some of the best foods to try, maybe even what bars are the best bars to go to, where can you get the best drinks. And once on the cruise ship, they're going to find one or two favorite spots that they're just going to really enjoy being on when they're on the cruise. Number nine, smart cruisers are generous with the crew. Now, when I say this, I don't actually mean in terms of tipping the crew members, although of course tipping the crew is very much appreciated, but what I mean is they're generous with their praise of the crew. So they're generous with their praise of the entertainment, of the waiters, maybe of the chefs, um, of the people who work in customer service, um, of the cruise director, of the cabin steward. Basically what I mean is they're appreciative of all these people. They say thank you and they kind of get what they give. Now I heard this little lesson on the very first cruise that we were on where the cruise director did come up at the main show on the first night, the welcome show. And she explained that when as an audience we give to the performers by clapping, by paying attention, by laughing at the comedian's jokes, that we get more in return and it really becomes a symbiotic relationship. And I think this is definitely something that is true. Now, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't complain if there is a problem, definitely go to customer service if there is, but otherwise, I think that you'll find, at least I've found, that if you are generous with your praise, that you tend to really have a great cruise experience. Please let me know if you found this to be true or not true in the past. Number 10, and personally, I really love this one, is that smart cruisers always have another cruise book. Now, I just think this is something really smart because at the end of the cruise, there's always going to be those post-cruise blues. It really is kind of a letdown when the cruise finishes at the end. It's just not a great feeling, disembarkation day. But what does make it better is if you've booked a cruise either on board or maybe you have a cruise already booked for a few months or a year later, whatever the timeline is doesn't really matter. It is the point that you have something else to look forward to. And by the way, if you do book it on board, of course, there are some advantages. So that could be something good too that smart cruisers do. Now I'm gonna leave the information all about the Ultimate Cruise Planner down in the description below this video. Now the Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner with packing lists, shore excursion planning forms, outfit planning forms, disembarkation checklists, and more. The information will be left down in the description below in case you do want to check it out to see what's included. Now I'd love to hear from you. Do you do these things and what are maybe some of the other things that you think that smart cruisers do? Please let me know down in the comments below this video. Now I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. What are you waiting for? I'd love to have you as part of the Life While Cruise community. Bye for now and happy cruising.